forget about that life did still go wrong. You forget about that there were yet still things happening while we were yet still serious. Period. Uh, look. Uh. Yeah. Politicians that I don't even vote for Papa told me that I should vote more But I'm far more vocal Teaching all the locals How to strike a nerve and hit a note when they approach slow See, this is magic Made like 40k on my last visit White collar, manila envelope with some cash in it But ain't no moving, you can't treat us like the last village We just came to get our sheep back and we not asking it Again Again. Can't waste no time We run the city, run the land, we run the sky We We own the banks, we own the store, we own the mind mind. Go for gold, diamond, this store, I I lie Can't waste no time Can't waste no time time. Getting money was the original mission statement Get my money and then I situate it Why your transfers and initial payments And if it's blood on it, they say you initiate Ah, oh, you got some new stuff We back Okay Yeah, uh, yeah, once again, opinion You know what I'm saying? And that was the boy, Illinois mm-hmm. Initiation Yeah. Real on the intro, man. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, always. Real elite, you know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all go follow that nigga right now. Real Elite so cool on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, this, you know, this got a video to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah me and Trey got a video to this right here. Uh, word? Yeah, we gonna have to get into it. Oh, that yeah, I'm about to. I'm gonna let you get yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, adjust my course. Real slow, so they never know. He just my shot. Yeah, we gonna hear that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The oh yeah. Woo! That's that intro, bro. We love that shit right there, man. Yeah, yeah. Make sure y'all go ahead and subscribe to the channel. The yeah, Day man. Podcast. Let's get them subscribers yeah. up, bro. Matter of yeah, fact, yeah. we gonna do a. I'm, I'm, me and Trey gonna do an intro for y'all. Yeah. Oh, that be love. Podcast. That be love, yeah, bro. I heard it here first, man. We yeah, yeah. Intro. Cause yeah. I can switch. We can switch to even the the joint. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! We already, 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 already got. I already got the, 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 the hook in my mind for the pod. Shit, so good. Yeah, yeah, one again. Welcome back to the Pin Your Headed Podcast. You know what I'm saying? I go by that nigga named Ace. I'm Joe, and we back in the building, in the man. Motherfucking building. You know what I'm saying? And today, you know what I'm saying? We got a special guest on the show. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like you know, like y'all might have seen this nigga on Sway in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Y'all might have seen this nigga on tour with Lupe. You know what I'm saying? Lupe Fiasco. You know what I'm saying? You might have seen this nigga in magazines and blogs and, you know, a lot Making of shit. Making noise, man. The area. You know what I'm saying? This nigga kind of like a, a known unknown in the Chicago yeah. mm-hmm. area. That's a good way to put that shit, boy. You know? Yeah, like, yeah. shit, this nigga used to go by Illinois Gordon. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Yeah, like, shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, shout out to that nigga Bumpy Johnson as well. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, shit, then he went to the boy Illinois. Yes, sir. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Shit, now he known as Billy D. Yeah. Williams, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Let's get this nigga a round of applause. Yeah, bro. Appreciate you coming in fucking with us, man. Nah, no, it's all good. It's all love. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, nigga, you like a known unknown in this motherfucking yeah. like shit. Yeah. Nigga, a couple weeks ago, I was in this motherfucking, and it was some nigga. I ain't even know, know the nigga, you know what I'm saying? I think his name like Nate Beck or some shit mm. like that. And like the nigga brought your name up. You oh, know what I'm yeah, yeah, I think he said his name sound familiar. Yeah, sound you know familiar. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He was like, I don't even remember what the fuck we was talking about, but I know your name came up and it was all positive, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Mm-hmm. But he said he was fucking with you. So yeah, it's just like, you know, like first of all, you know what I'm saying? Like, li- like who is, matter of fact, why you change your name? Oh, well, the change of the name was like, uh, one time this uh, white presenter was like, we got boy. Here and I was like, oh, I don't like the way that shit sounds. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, 
it's the boy Illinois, right? So like, which comedy, one? Comedy, rap now. Yeah. Well, I, I, I actually, I still boy use Illinois, it. I really, yeah. LED Williams is just really my social media name, right? Right. And the last name, my last project. But I'm still the boy of Illinois. Everybody just call me Illy. So it's mm. like like Method Man. Nobody really call that nigga Method, Method Man. Method. Call him Meth. <laughs> they say yeah. Meth. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, so Method Man. It's, yeah. It's kind of like that. And, and I and I once I was like I won't change my name. I kind of hesitated at first because it's hard as fuck to change all your streaming shit mm-hmm. to a different name. So I was like, you know what? Keep the boy of Illinois on the projects, but you know that's referred to me as Illy and everything. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. It came along like you said. It started with Illinois Gordon. That didn't. That that just. I changed it because that didn't flow well. Illinois Gordon. Yeah, it just. It's kind of <laughs> like, who the fuck is that yeah, type of name? Like, yeah. So they're just on some star like, shit. That's on some. That's how yeah. I started because I I was watching Hoodlum. Well, I was a big Bump J fan. So Bumpy mm. Johnson, the movie he's mm-hmm. in the movie Hoodlum, mm-hmm. and his his fictional cousin was Illinois Gordon. Mm-hmm. So that's how close I wanted to be associated with, yeah. Bump, with Bump back in the yeah. day. Like that was our. Aaron, though, he, and that's crazy he as hell, though. Yeah, that was that yeah. was that was I. That was you know what I'm saying. That's what we goon squad crazy when we was kids. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. So I went to Illinois Gordon, and then one time in a freestyle, and our, our homie BP Bernard, shout out to BP, shout out that nigga Price. He um, uh, was in the basement in a freestyle. We was doing a freestyle. We was back in the high school when I came back to to, to, to Dalton. Uh, I went to high school. We formed our click FA the squad. And we started selling CDs. And that's when, like, CD burners was popping. Mm-hmm. It's, so, man, it's so advanced today. You talk about <laughs> CD burner. It's man. crazy. So when we did a freestyle, and I said on one of the tracks, yeah, yeah, it's the boy, Illinois. I'm here to kill the noise. Now, nah, here's to feel the void. Click, clack, da 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 to kill the noise. And, like, that was, when I, that was on one of our first mixtapes that went crazy. And then that... I'm the boy Illinois always stuck with me. Mm-hmm. So I was like, after I graduated, I'm like, I'm changing my name. I'm gonna just change it because it just it just flows smoother than yeah. Illinois Gordon. And then that's how you came up with the boy Illinois. Yeah, that yeah. shit sound nice, eh? Yeah. How long you been rapping and shit though? This man an OG with OG? this shit. You know what I'm saying? Twenty like years. It. Yeah, bro, say y'all go way back way though back. with that shit, man. Yeah. Uh, I yeah. told you shit, man, bro. Yeah. His ass done, you know what I'm saying, been all across America. This nigga mm-hmm. done been a Motherfucker Nigeria, motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Like, shit. So it sound like this yeah, music you know took you Cuba. Cuba. took you some everywhere, bro. Either it take me there or it paid for me right. to be there. So yeah. I appreciate, yeah, I appreciate nigga, you it. You know what I'm saying? Passport player. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Man, look, yeah. So I I started basically I was rapping before I met Real as a small little kid, but me and Real came up together. Real used to be Hayes. Mm. And then from Hayes it was uh it was back and forth from real elite to young real. Yeah, this nigga yeah. Said, hey, hey, yeah, you ain't remember this. Didn't know the hey. So, so look, shit. so look, so, <laughs> so this, this is this is back when we used to hang with them, right. like all the older guys. Mm-hmm. He was Hayes back in the day, and we and, and they like three, four years older than us. So yeah, yeah. we really we was really the youngest cats hanging with them. But that was back in that day. Real was Hayes, and then he went back and forth from like real elite to young real. And stuck with Young Rail for a minute, and Rail transitioned to rapping to just like, let me just come, let me rock out right here. Mm-hmm. And I definitely always salute Rail on that because Rail was like, listen, if we not gonna do it, if I ain't gonna do it like this, let me go do it like that. Yeah, and that always nigga been like that. Yeah. always, bro. Like, and I, I've I've always committed in heat, and when he yeah. wanna do it, that nigga do it all the way. Like, yeah, I saw that, that nigga real, real, man. Real, I, man. I, I seen the real. transition from him becoming. A artist to artist producer to just strictly producer engineer videographer like the shit was so seamless high transition it was producer and he's like hey i'm finna buy my own studio shit and then we recording at his crib mm. like some of the shit on led williams was recorded at his crib in 2017 yo i'm gonna come i'm gonna come through you recording today cool or he'll pack up and come to my crib and record mm. so yeah it's like yeah we go way way back on this music shit like we done seen everything together uh, yeah you know what I'm saying and you know look at that you started out in the group FA you yeah. know what I'm saying mm-hmm. free agents at first but you know like I don't know if y'all let everybody know what you said what that that FA saying for what free agents free agents, free agents. Was, free agents? You know yeah it was free agents at first yeah when we was in high school and then we got into the legal shit like alright who else got the name free agents and somebody mm-hmm. else had it so we just went 
it eventually turned into family affair. Mm-hmm. But we never really said family affair. We just say FA. Right. And then FA. We FA yeah. from then on. Yeah, like, everybody still, knows yeah. it's FA. Yeah, yeah. So shout out to nigga Trey, that nigga Price, that yeah. nigga Real, and yeah. that nigga Rip. You yes, know what I'm saying? All right. All right. That's, yeah. the whole, that's the whole clip. Whole FA. Clip. Whole clip. Right. It's bigger than that, but them was the ones only ones involved with Right, yeah. right. Now, you went through a few transitions as well. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, I remember you. You was always the little nigga in the neighborhood. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? You was the hooping nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Are you who, my nigga? I was, I was the hooper before I was a rapper, but I also, even before the hooping, I was colder in baseball. Yeah. I just never really liked baseball. That's where the fucking money is. I mean, <laughs> bro. I was the size of the hoop. I said, man, if I knew baseball was getting paid, man. That's and it just, been at. it just wasn't a passion. Like, I was in seventh yeah. grade playing the high school kids. Oh, yeah. And I was small as hell, but, like, I was a good-ass infielder. But my dad, that's one thing. He knew how to play mm-hmm. with me. Mm-hmm. Like, he knew how to teach me baseball. He wasn't the best basketball player. I taught mm-hmm. myself how to play basketball. But baseball, he was always there to teach me shit. So I was really good. I just didn't like it like that. Mm-hmm. You know, and it was also something that, like, your dad wanted for you. So, mm-hmm. like, I ain't really wanted pop. This is kind of what you want. To it's do. like his force, bro. Yeah, it yeah. was like you live vicariously through me, but I really don't want to do this. Right. But I, I was really good. And now yeah. looking back on it, I, think I, I wish I could have went a little bit further with it because I was really good. Yeah. yeah. Like, shit, you know, so like I said, you went from the hooping, then you started rapping, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you made many transitions with your style, you know what I'm saying? Going from the big ass clothes, big ass clothes. (laughs) Big ass clothes. He was always, you know what I'm saying, a a fresh ass nigga, you know what I'm saying? It was 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 just, it was just, I was fresh for the times. Like, shit, matter of fact, did you win an award for being like the illest nigga in the city or something? Yeah, yeah. You know what? That might be why Homie be. Is mad at me too because he was in that category, <laughs> and I beat him out. Yeah, yeah. so so the fashion, yeah. the costume, Chicago Costume Council, what? the uh, official like who got the say song, who the freshest is like, you know what I'm saying? They had their first awards annual award in 2017, and I got nominated from a homie. Shout out 7 p.m. because 7 mm-hmm. p.m. got nominated, and he mentioned me like, nah, he's super fresh. So Chance was in in there, and so was Common. So it was okay. four of us. It was 7 p.m. Me, Chance, and Common, and I beat them out because they seen my, excuse me, my video on my dad for uh, if I rode the world ruling class, I had on yeah. that mm. suit. My homie got made from Nigeria. So one of the dudes, I forgot his name. He a big fashion guy who be on E Network. He was the like the the last person that was like, nah, he gotta win it. Mm-hmm. So they yeah they they gave me the award, and I get invited back every year when they have the awards. So, hey, that's big, man. You can talk shit on that, man. I know, I do. You talk I, shit on that, I mean, bro. I, trust me, it's, it, it's it's up at the. No, I took it down. Is it still up? Did I put it up by the desk? But a desk that oh, old shit, bro. I introduced myself as that. Nah. <laughs> I'm Joe, bro. I'm flying for 2017. Fuck it, uh, yeah, like, See, that's you one feel? thing, you know what I'm saying? I always am mad about this nigga, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, I done seen this nigga grow up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, like shit. You know, like I said, big ass clothes. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know, that's how everybody rock that shit. It's like yeah, evolution, though, bro. Yeah. You feel me? To the, to the yeah. chinos and the, you know, the penny loafers and shit like mm-hmm. that. And Once like, it was up there, niggas it was wasn't up. doing that shit. You know nah, what I'm no. Saying? They was not. I was with I the been, loafers and nah, shit. Bro, I was, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I was dressing like that six years ago. And niggas mm-hmm. was like, I'm like, I always be like, you a singer? I'm like, nah, I'm not a singer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not a singer. I rap my nigga. But I had boat shoes and khakis. And like, I was a big rugby, polo rugby guy. Mm-hmm. And I used to rock the rugby. My my thing was, let me get let me get a little sip of that too. My thing was, my my third project was called After School Program. Mm-hmm. And I was big. I, fact, I had just dropped. When he was like. That's why I said fuck school. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they told me I was crazy. Nigga, they still think you're crazy, nigga. Nah, nah. nah a lot of <laughs> niggas. A lot of niggas owe way more than I do. I still owe some money, but shout out. Come on, Biden. Let's do it. So, uh, when I was in college, I was being on, like, that collegiate but Ivy League look was still mm-hmm. street. So, I used to rock a lot of polo rugby. It'd still be baggy, but I was big in the rugby. And then it transitioned from... Rugby to some whole Brooks Brothers shit, you know what I'm saying, and it kind of just stayed there, and that's how it's always been. Right now I'm just chilling, but like I usually dress up, and, and motherfuckers be like, "Man, where, where you come from?" I'm like, that's just yeah, I guess. We, yeah, I yeah, but yeah, but where you get that shit from, though? Because like I, I seen an interview with Dallas Austin one time. 
And uh-huh. you know what I'm saying? He was talking about how niggas was wearing the polos and shit like that back when he was in school. But he was like, him and this niggas, they ain't want to wear the polos. They want to dress like the nigga that was on the horse on the polo. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. That's saying? I so I got it a little bit from it started with Scott Disick. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Once hey, I say I, how I, clean that nigga hey, that's a fly ass nigga. nigga. Listen, nigga. once I say Man. how clean that nigga was, I'm like, I can do that, but my steeds mm-hmm. and and that's how I, that's how I kind of started because I think it definitely that's when the Kardashians first got on TV and she was still married to Scott and I'm like that nigga's an asshole but right. that nigga flies Fly hell head, so I was like yeah Scott Disick that's that's yeah. what started and then my Nigerian homies brought everything together because like it was like Afro European so it was mm-hmm. a European style of dress what Scott was doing which was tailored mm-hmm. right but using the Ankara African wax print mm. with that same style. So then I've just fused the two styles together, and that's how I became like just unique in, in how, how I step out. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I right, shit. You know what I'm saying? Nah. Oh, yeah. I don't feel to say shit, bro. It seemed like, you know what I'm saying? You kind of in the flow of what you. You know what I'm saying? What you like, bro? You know what I'm saying? You put that shit out there. You ain't kind of scared of a motherfucker opinion yeah, and shit. Nah, yeah. nah. Cause I, I know, like, I'm a nigga. At this point, I know I'm a nigga that can make anything damn to look fly. Mm-hmm. Like, I can go to Target and spend five hundred dollars a month. Right. Like, bro, where, where you get this shit from? R J, <laughs> yeah, my nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Wal- <laughs> RJ, bro. Walmart. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just how you how you put shit together. Let like, like, the motherfuckers know, bro. It ain't the clothes, niggas. Nah, nigga in the clothes, bro. You put that shit, man. You know all, all day, man. Like it's some like I when I shop, shit tell you I don't shop retail. Like if I go to a retail store, I go straight to clearance and sale. What's on sale? Like I right, cool. Mm-hmm. Like Marshalls is my shit. Yeah. Burlington Coat Factory is my shit. Like mm-hmm. I got some some loaf some polo loafers from there that's original price two twenty five. I got them for forty dollars. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You can't beat that. Hell and no. it's still flat in a motherfucker. Hey, bro. It's a season late, but who the fuck cares? Yeah, man. I Put don't shit on, bro. Oh, oh, hey, you talking shit. about Marshalls, man? Shit, niggas, and niggas be shopping at Marshalls, man. Oh, man. man. Niggas, the niggas be trying to be think they too man. big. Man. Bring your ass back down. That's the same shit. Listen, same shit. And then you go to, and that's the thing. The key is to go to the Marshalls in the white area. Yeah, boy. They be having more selection oh, than, man, man. than us. You know? Yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying? Good shit. The polos yeah, and shit. The they they be getting. Yeah. They be having Lebrons yeah. in there, so you be like, yeah. 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 oh, they get some yeah. Jordan ones up in well, here. Go to Marshalls by Fort uh, City. Yeah, they ain't yeah, got shit in there. Get the motherfucking pawn shops and shit too. It's gonna be some pumas and some sketches. Nah, they got they got some shit, man. Looking for some shit. You know if you re- and if you really about your th- thrift game, put you on G. Thrift at Boys Town. Mm. Uh, I heard them gay, the too. queer eyes for a straight guy. Them gay brothers can dress their ass off, mm. and they hand me downs be like YSL t shirts and mm. shit like that. Uh. That's original price three hundred. You get that bitch for thirty dollars, <laughs> and you be like, hey, yo, I'm in the game. Hey, now. Yo, these you niggas like, what that nigga say? Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, pull up. Like, hey. Hey. But, but shit, man. I'm telling you, bro. See, shit, that's crazy what I was thing. getting at. You know what I'm saying? Because like that, that's one of the reasons why I always fuck with this nigga. And I mad this nigga because it was just like, you know what I'm saying? This nigga ain't never gave a fuck. He always was in his own mm-hmm. lane. He stuck with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Even oh, when yeah. it comes to the music, you know what I'm saying? Like that in hell too. Like that shit came out, what, like 2012 or something? Yep. yep. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's when Chief Keith and all them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's around that time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I love shit. Bitches yeah. love Sosa and yeah. Don't Like it. You know what I'm saying? King Louie. All that drill shit was coming out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And like this nigga... You know what I'm saying? Didn't sound like what the city was sounding like. Never mm-hmm. did. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, never wanted to. You know, yeah, and then bro. like with the with the nigga music, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, you know, he was conscious. You know, he always keep a record for the ladies. You know Got what to. I'm saying? Like shit, this nigga mm-hmm. went from Southside nigga fuck the government. You know what I'm saying? To, you know, dashikis. And, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Whatever yep. fuck else. But like shit, I can man. T- you know, he put a lot of thought into the shit that he do. And matter of yeah. fact, you know what I'm saying? Why we talk about the music. Like, for those who don't know who the boy Illinois is or L.E.D. Williams, like, what do you think is a good start for those who want to get into your music? Like, what album Ooh, or man. what song? Let's start, I say start with Dancing Like Diddy. Cause Dancing it's, Like Diddy? It's like in the middle of everything. Mm-hmm. It's high up tempo. It's feel good. 
But if you listen and you be like, this nigga is saying some witty ass, clever ass lines in this mm-hmm. song, you know what I'm saying? So I say start there. That'll get you hype. And then if you're gonna do, if you're gonna do projects, man, in hell part four. No part four. Hell part four. Oh right. Yeah. So the, for the story about that is I sectioned that off in the in the um. Hore, the four Hore, seasons. Yeah, the four seasons. The Hori, Hore, I forgot how it's even pronounced. But there are three Greek goddesses that control the flow of weather, the time period, right? So I split up the project into the seasons. It started with winter, you know what I'm saying, spring, summer, fall. In the middle, I had uh, no season. It was a song called Baby Mother Nature. It's one of my favorite all-time songs I've ever written. But that project right there was the project I gave my last manager, who was Lupe's assistant. And I had gave him that project. He had went out of town with it. He called me on the way back, like, right, we need to meet up. And as a matter of fact, the next album that Lupe put out, Tetsuo and Youth, he borrowed my, my shit of separating it into seasons. Mm. So I just make sure everybody know that out there. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now that shit no man. Now you brought up Lupe, you know what I'm saying? Like you you done been on the road opening up for Lupe and you know, niggas like Stiley and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, tell us a little bit about that, you know what I'm saying? How was it traveling with Lupe Fiasco? It was uh it was it was a blessing. We went a lot of places mm-hmm. like in that band. We covered a lot of a ground, a square mm-hmm. inches in the United States of America. We went places we had never Boise, Idaho, uh Seattle, Washington. Well, who uh, where else? Shit, we, we you went. know, like I, I drove out there to St. Louis, called you oh, yeah. out there. St. You Louis, know what I'm saying? You did, did you said, go to Ari- I, Did you come to Arizona? Nah, I ain't, ain't come to Arizona, Arizona okay, okay. but shit, you know what I'm saying? I, I was out there in New Orleans. I oh, came yeah, out yeah. there to Houston. I missed that Houston show. But then, oh, you yeah, know what bro, you like, was, oh, yeah, yeah bro. I missed that shit, but niggas had drove to uh, motherfucking New Orleans to yeah, yeah, check that yeah. shit out. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, I was out there with uh, Rail. Uh, Darrell and, and oh nigga yeah Dubs, yeah yeah them niggas yep, you know what I'm saying? Yep. like niggas cool. like homie the homies came to see on our first on my first tour because I went on him twice on that first tour like everybody was coming out to see me mm-hmm. like they like bro showing you, you love doing bro. it you doing it yeah. you know what I'm saying because at that time yeah at that time in particular nobody was on tour from Chicago but mm-hmm. Lupe me maybe Kanye but like nobody that was like Keith and them, they mm-hmm. wasn't doing the tours. I was right. on tour, so everybody was looking at me. Like even back at the crib, they like, this nigga think he doing it. This, da, 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 this and that. You know what I'm saying? But like niggas was showing love. We could get everybody as long as we mm. had a, a ahead of time. You told us we could get everybody in the show. Mm. show. Right. Oh, that's love, right. then, Oh yeah. What was your favorite city though? Dallas. 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 Dallas was so so much love. That was the first city that I did where I had people line up to take have, take my autograph. Oh, bro. Yeah, yeah so man. That's, that's, that's like appreciation when motherfuckers do that, man. Nah, that make you yeah. feel good about your shit, bro. Lovely, bro. Yeah. Lovely, man. Yeah. And like for, you know, any artists out here, because you know there's a lot of artists out here in the city. Like I said, I just got done watching a few niggas perform. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like what type of qualities you think it take to actually be a good performance? You know man, what I'm saying? I, to give mm-hmm. a good performance. I, I, from, apart from studying Luke, because that's how I really, really learned, because he's an amazing performer. But apart from that, I just used to watch Busta Rhymes and T.I. perform on YouTube. Mm. So I go on YouTube. I mean, that's what everybody should do if you're really serious about your craft. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. kind of study what, what they got going on. The thing about it is, is that um, with, like, club performances and the way cats perform now who ain't really seasoned to be an artist, they get away with half-assed performances. Mm. Uh. So when it's time for arena or it's time for theater or it's time for like something bigger than the club like your shit ain't translating right because you rapping over the song you, you only really doing the ad libs mm. you can't have a hundred niggas on the stage with you you know what I'm saying so it was just like you strip all that shit away bro like you have to be entertaining you right. know what I'm saying and that's the whole thing is like making sure you're entertaining because like in between songs you damn near gotta be a stand up comedian mm-hmm. shit, to, nigga. stage presence bro. like you gotta have this shit glued tight together mm. seamlessly alright we gonna transition from this song to this song and we gonna do this and in between the middle I'm gonna give a joke 
I'm gonna do this. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. like, Gotta have that really, presence. Really, yeah. really, really study your craft, man, because that's that can make. I, it's been plenty of times when ain't nobody know me on the bill, mm-hmm. right? And niggas, after I'm done with they be like, "Bro, you, I ain't never heard of you before, but I fuck with you because yeah. like, kill the performance, right? Like that's what you supposed. And to what you be rapping about, my nigga? You rap about some. Some different shit though. Yeah, you ain't but, all about that yeah, drill but, and all that. But if, but if I just was up there rapping that shit, niggas would be like, "This shit boring." Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. you gotta make that shit you. interesting. Feel that shit, yeah. You gotta make yeah, it interesting. Yeah. Watching a few niggas perform and like niggas had the background music. You know what I'm saying? It was like they was letting that shit play and doing the ad libs, like you shit, said, not even yeah. rapping that shit. Like, like you that. said, you gotta rap your you know shit. Why I'm feeling that shit? So tell me, bro, what's what's um what's one word to describe your music? That's a great question. One word. Yeah. Smooth. Smooth. Mm. Smooth. That's a good one, G. Yeah. Like, shit, That's a good one. I don't know if you remember, but like when niggas was in New Orleans and like shit, nigga, you, you had a little incident on stage. You slept and shit. Oh, that, that was, was no, that wasn't New. That was St. Louis. That was St. Louis. Yeah, that was St. Okay, Louis. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now I got yeah, it on video. I played yeah, it. Nah, so I, I was. And it's so nigga, crazy. Like, so what I said smooth. You, yeah, you played it off. Nah, you know and it's man? a video of it too. I actually got the video. It's on my Instagram. It's the first video on my Instagram. So what ended up happening was what I used to do is like I used to be very careful because I would wear Chelsea boots and dress shoes while performing. Mm. Them ain't like. To be running Ooh, around yeah, and jumping yeah, around it, so I used to be extra like cautious sometimes about my movement. <laughs> but this time I'm going, I'm and I'm y'all, I, I, and yeah, I'm just I'm not running to anything. I'm just like, hey, hit my line, and I'm walking, and the cord that's connected to the speaker, I step on it, and it rolls, and I slip, and I then the speaker is right here. Luckily, the speaker was right there because if it wasn't, I might have fell off the stage. So I, I. I Boom, they're like, oh, I said, huh, huh. Hit my line, I get back up. They like, oh, <laughs> they're line. like, oh shit, fucking we in this bitch. Yeah. Hey, that shit right there, though. Hey. Cause, Cause the dude posted it and he was like, yo, I had to post it, but he he did it, he got it, he pulled it off though. Oh, he pulled good. it off. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I sure did. Yeah, <laughs> but nah. Cause I know my manager was looking like this motherfucker. Oh uh, shit! Cause I remember like, cause I was on lab and that nigga was like, "Did you get that?" <laughs> I was like, <laughs> <laughs> "I was like, hell yeah!" You know what I'm saying? Like shit. Nah, but no. you know what I'm saying? Like why we talk about you know before we leave all the subject, Lupe man. Why we ain't never get a Lupe feature, man? You uh, man, you gotta ask that nigga. He's 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 real calculated and I don't know. I I don't really know. Yeah. But I will say the good thing about going on tour with him. Is because I'm a low key nerd. We got to do nerdy ass shit mm. on the tour. Like we went to uh, Penn State to see the professor of semiotics. Semiotics mm. is the study of how language is used. Mm-hmm. I had no fucking clue about that shit mm-hmm. bro, until I came and pulled up, and I'm like, oh, like Lupe smart as shit. Like he, I feel like sometimes he's too smart for his own good. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because smart people are assholes. Like, and really, really, the smarter the person is, the more <laughs> of an asshole yeah, they are. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but yeah. I can I can relate to him, and I I understand his assholeness. You know right. what I'm saying? And the coldest thing we did was NASA was shut down, but we went through that bitch. Yeah. They took us where no not regular people go. You know what I'm saying? Like we went all through NASA and Houston. Hey, that's Houston, dope, we, bro. We, we went to the room where they was like, Houston, we have a problem. Oh, with word? Apollo, when they when they watched the oh, Apollo. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we was all through that bitch. And so our interesting thing, right? Random but cold. So we go and we watching the International Space Station in orbit, right? So they got the whole map of like the seven continents and everything and how to go around the continents and shit, right? It's a dark black spot. We like, hey, what's that? They like, it's a black spot. We like, what does that mean? They like, shit, we don't know. It just goes black for 13 minutes. As soon as it hit this spot, 13 minutes. We don't know what the fuck is going on. And I'm like, y'all saying that real nonchalant. Like, that's a mystery, goddammit. Yeah, yeah. Like, what the, the fuck? The fuck? What? what the fuck? Y'all, y'all survey all this space. But this one space right here for 13 minutes goes dead. Yeah. That's that connection. See, that's what type of shit I'm into. You feel when you was like I'm nerd like, shit, bro. I was gonna ask yeah. you like, what type of shit you talking about? Nah, I like super yeah. math, space, astronomy, yeah. all shit, that type me of too, shit. Bro. Like that. Yeah. 
That phone call me astronomy, man. Goof uh, ass nigga, man. <laughs> Goofy <laughs> ass, man. Because like, I'm fucking all that shit. That be broke bad, you know what I'm saying? Especially when motherfuckers around some bitches or something. So, no, no, man. Like, that's all bad. So I'm going to put it like this, man. The best way to put astrology, because a lot of motherfuckers don't believe in Astrology is like meteorology. Astrology, meteorology. It ain't like this is how you act. It's just a blanket statement. It could. This could be you. Right. Because you born within this time frame, this, this could sound like you. Mm-hmm. Just like it could rain, nigga. But yeah. I don't know. Right. It's just it's just a, a guesstimate. Like, all right, you a Gemini, you probably you probably act like this, but yeah. it ain't for certain. But you probably and damn near most of the time you in the ballpark. So I'm telling that you, let you know, like, I right, you know, what I'm saying it's some shit to it. And and at the end of the day, they, it's just math. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, it's yeah, just the same, the same way meteorology yeah. is just it's just a study. There's it's, certain it's degrees, numbers, it's certain shit. degrees. This go with this, yep. do with this. It's a certain different type of math that goes into it, mm-hmm. and that's what one thing I learned is like everything's math. And once I learned that, I was like, oh man, this is why I fuck with math so hard. Mm-hmm. But yeah, mm-hmm. so that shit, hey, that shit deep though, right there though, bro. Yeah, is, like, right. as motherfuckers that don't believe in it, man, I say, look, um, check your birth chart, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, man, that shit deep, bro. Yo, North Node, South Node, my nigga. Like, bro, like, man, that yeah, shit broke you down, shit. G. I'm telling yeah. you, bro. Your that rise, shit let you, you got, know, you man. Got different signs. Yeah, you got man. Rising. It's, uh, your, you feel me? Your regular sign. It's 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 yeah, a man. lot of it's it's a lot Listen, of shit, bro. We listen bro. about your, your you know what I'm saying your houses, bro. Your planet and exactly. the houses, bro. So, cause, bro. Cause, no, cause, I don't no, know, bro. No like, that shit get deep, because, bro. Because because like. You can give a blanket statement like, oh, Taurus, this, today you're like this, this, and that. But if you want to go deep, you got to know your houses. Yeah, bro. You got to know your rising. Yeah. You got to know all that shit because all that yeah. shit matters. So it's like, if you don't know all that shit, you just going to be left with a blanket statement. Exactly, you know? exactly, bro. And it's every household is some type of weight, bro. You yeah. feel me? So... Yeah, man, that shit deep, man. Like I said, man, that shit get into it, bro. Hey, you know? liking that shit? He hey, I'm saying, bro, I, I got nah, that nerve nah, shit I'm into, nah, bro. Like that bro, shit, nah, like shit. Perfect. See, like you know, I be fucking with certain shit like that, but I don't really be get down like that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I ain't did my studies and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like uh, y'all two is because like. You know, matter of fact, you know, prayers up to to DMX and shit. You know, what oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, say yeah, they yeah, say yeah, yeah, I saw that shit too. Yeah, I saw that shit too. But then you know, what I'm saying I saw another statement that said the lawyer said he 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 had some uh, misinformation. You know, what I'm saying ah, that he put nah. out there. So I don't know what's going right. on with that. But then like you know, uh, I don't even know buddy name that's on Instagram. I think he's like Blue Pillar. Yeah, yeah, Blue Pillar. Whatever. Yeah, I yeah. seen him post something about you know. What I'm saying yeah, I saw with a picture, the picture of him in the hospital. And you know what I'm saying? Then resurrection, and you know, on the fourth, and all how all that lead up to the number. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, you know yeah. And he a dog, and dog, yeah, the serious mm. the constellation. Yeah, it's it's like it's interesting because they say how like the stars, the Hollywood stars, represent different stars in our galaxy, mm. and as above, so below. You know, like so. I I I, I thought that, like Drake. You got the Drakeo uh, uh, constellation in mm. in the sky, and from what I was told. Drake's takeover matches with the constellation and the the the, the changing of and going into the the year the the the, the Aquarius age. Okay. So that's what we're aging in now. So it's it's interesting. It's a lot of interesting shit to go with. I ain't all the way in it because boy, it can go motherfucking deep. Man, yeah, shit probably blow your man. Yeah, you know man. Saying, but yeah. like all this shit, but nigga. Because then you got Gematria. Or however you want to pronounce it, gematria, gematria, which is the uh, the breakdown of right. words, um, which is Hebrew. Hebrew is a language, which is the Bible, was one of the original languages. You got Sanskrit, Hebrew, and I think it was another language, which was cold when I thought it, when I think about it. I know I'm getting into some uh, other shit. What the uh, fuck? That's I think I know bro, what you're talking about, bro. It's um, Sanskrit, Hebrew, and it's another language, and I can't remember um, what's the third language. They used to speak that shit in Egypt, bro. Um... I said, I'm my tongue, bro. But it's cold because they wrote the it fuck speak that in shit? three different languages for it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But with Hebrew, right? Hebrew has. Hyperglyphics or some shit like hier- that? Uh, yeah. Netter, metal netter. So it's yeah. hieroglyphics, it's metal netter. I think, but I ain't completely positive. But anyway, they wrote it in three different languages for a reason. It's amazing why they did it. But in Hebrew, which, which is related to Gematria, is Hebrew has every letter has a number code attached to it. So every word has a numerical value that means something completely different than what you think the actual word means. Mm-hmm. So a motherfucker could say like 
the word is God and the God is the word. And you'd be like, okay, all right, cool. But then a motherfucking Hebrew can break that down into like 267 plus this plus that plus that. Okay, this number equals this. All right, so this is what they actually saying. This number means uh, pi that's- times three something, and that's going to give me where... I don't know, just some super crazy. No, because that shit, shit makes bro. sense, bro. Because scientists say, bro, like in the future, we ain't gonna use words, we ain't use numbers, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Communication is gonna be numbers, bro. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because everything break down with math and science and everything. Yeah, yeah everything so, is numbers. But yeah. now, I, so I to yeah. go back to like that, just the studying the words and shit like that. It's just it's 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 crazy, bro. Like even the way that our months are set up, right? Our months is off. Because October, November, December, Deca, Deca is 10. Hmm. But it's our 12th. Oct- mm-hmm. October should be 8. Mm-hmm. But it's our 10th. You know, you see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, our whole shit thrown off. Right. And, and once you get to studying words and the origins, you be like, oh, these niggas is crazy. Like, mm-hmm. Ethiopia... That's why I, I be mentioning this shit to people too. Twenty twenty was actually twenty twelve. I said right. the same, bro. Yeah. I said it. I said, bro. That's yeah. what the end of the Mayan calendar, bro. December twenty yeah. first. That was supposed to be two thousand twelve. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. when we was coming to the Aquarius yeah. and zodiac time. So, right. so in Ethiopia, while it was twenty twenty for us, it was twenty twelve because they had to go off a whole. They go off the Julian calendar. We go off the Gregorian calendar. We off on a whole nother time, and mm-hmm. they go. They old school with it. Right. And they and they got thirteen months, and and they New Year's is nine eleven. Mm. It's some crazy shit, man. man. But so. they but when you speak shit like that though, bro, motherfucker think you be on conspiracy. Nah, you, shit. Nah, but it be makes sense though, man. I'm but it's it just real shit. It's yeah, just like if you look at it, like, bro, like it's 2000, 2013 now in Egypt, but like yeah, I mean, see, Ethiopia, Ethiopia, like, Ethiopia, Ethiopia. Motherfuckers don't really know what the fuck shit is unless you doing your stuff. It's you right here, yeah, bro. You bro. read some books or something. Yeah, unless you're doing your studies like, like motherfucker, everybody I just live this before, off bro. the status quo. You know what I'm saying? And if y'all listen to us, bro, I said this shit before past episodes. G. It's crazy that the coordinates for the pyramid is the formula for the speed of light, my nigga. You talking about numbers, my nigga. Right. Like, come on, G. Like, bro, it can't get no, bro. Ain't no such thing as coincidence, it man. It ain't, man. Everything done for it a ain't, reason, bro. bro. Yeah. So, yeah. You know, we nerded out real quick on the tangent. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're saying. Like, see, but like, you know, that's what's up, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I like when motherfuckers come up here and talk. Like, I ain't finna just beat no questions down yeah. motherfucking neck. Yeah, yeah. And then, like, if it's something that you feel it, go on here, put that shit out because sure. motherfucker might learn something. You nah, know what I'm yeah. saying? Might get interested in that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, like, like you said, ain't no such thing as coincidence. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, you mm-hmm. know, it is what it is. So, you know, like, you know, let, let's just flip it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Now, you know, you've been out here, like, let me ask you this, because I done had a few motherfuckers on here, and we done <laughs> asked them about the state of the culture within the city of Chicago. And, you know, like, and then, like I said, with the music that you make, you know what I'm saying? Like, have you ever felt pressure to dumb your shit down? I've been asked to, but I mm. didn't do it. Nah. And why is that? Just because motherfuckers think that a hit, mo, and I'm just, just from a, Having integrity, I'm just like nah. Right. Like I, I don't, I don't. I say that I'm not super lyrical no more. Even mm. though I can fuck a nigga up if I want to, right. I just choose not to. My dad was like, you know, one of his favorite groups was Steely Dan, and they got one of my favorite songs, Pig. But he was like, Steely Dan used to know how to say a lot without saying a lot, mm. and sometimes you say a lot. And I'm like, I right, cool. So the first thing, first time I displayed that or exhibited that was a song I got called Sell Again where it's like it sound real simple it was catchy but like if I break down lyrics to you you'd be like I ain't know that's what you were saying <laughs> <laughs> but that's the point about it you know right. what I'm saying it's like just packing as much and I have I find fun in packing a lot of shit into a very simple line where it can just easily breeze by you if it's not if you're not resonating with the language that's being used so I it, yeah it's just with the rap shit, you just find an interesting and intricate more ways to deliver things. Right. And it's like, you get to hide. Like, oh, it's, it's like motherfucking playing Where's Waldo mm. with lyrics. Like, where's the, where's the double entendre? Where's the triple? Which one was it? All right, let me go listen back to his verse, nigga. I don't know. <laughs> listen, right. listen again. Uh, I think, was it this one? No, but that line did mean this and this mm-hmm. and this. 
So yeah, man. So, yeah. so how do you feel about the music that's that's out nowadays? Like, and do you fuck with any of it? No. Yeah. No. I don't even give a fuck about. It. No, yeah. So who you listen to? Kind of your. I listen to African music. African. <laughs> I listen to Afro right, music. Yeah, my fashion. Sure. You got a uh, you got a feature out right now with uh, what's that, Mister It? Yeah, or yeah, Mister like It, that. my Nigerian homie. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, man, fact, you know, I disgruntle ass, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> producer yeah. that being here. Like, <laughs> shit, his brother is the nigga that produced that track. Oh, for real? Tone. That's his brother. Oh, damn, I'm that's saying? a small fucking world. Yeah, that's oh, that's brother. what's up. So yeah, shout, yeah. Out, shout out Mr. Talk. IT. Yeah, Mr. IT. Because what, what ended up, it was like, because I, I kick it with all Nigerians, really. Yeah. Other than FA is just me, all Africans and Haitians. Yeah, so, shout out that nigga Dale and Rio, yeah. and um, you know. Yes, yeah, so I was just I was just with Rio in Atlanta. Yeah. So when I'm kicking it all them, it's just like I do all the shit that they do. So right. like all the Nigerian African parties, all that shit, it just became part of me. Mm-hmm. And it was like I'm going outside of that to go do this rap shit. And like I really don't blend well with this rap shit because mm-hmm. it's a lot of phony ass, and it ain't. The African shit niggas just be having a good time. Right. Everybody's dancing. Nobody gives a fuck. Everybody having a good time. Money being spent. People drinking liquor. And it was just like, that's my type of vibe, bro. Like, mm-hmm. I just fuck with this type of shit. So, like, I'm like, all right, I'm, I'm more gravitating towards making that type of music, but not all the way. But when I go out, like, that's the scene. That's my scene. Like, I haven't been to no rap scene, no event mm. in Chicago in, like, over two years. Right. I just didn't. I stopped. For, it, it it sucked the life out of me, man. Yeah. Like it was so much phony shit. It was so much shit that happened to me that I was just like, bro, I didn't even ask for this. Like, or I I have I've done nothing to you to receive this type of treatment. Why y'all niggas acting like this? Oh, it's all these type of politics. You know what, G? Yeah. Fuck, fuck mm-hmm. this shit. I don't really give a fuck about it. like everybody get their money, do their thing. But as far as I don't care no about nobody in that scene. All right. So you can say, bro, like you know, what I'm saying being around a. You know, your Nigerian homies and shit, you kind of picked up on that culture, though. That shit kind of sure. became part of you, shit. For sure, for sure. Yeah. For sure. That shit sound like, dope, though. Like a cool-ass sure. vibe, though. It is. And that's why I went out of Nigeria, because my homie, like, he know Blink. Blink. We used to rock with Heavy. That was, that was our boy. He he can only stay in America up to a certain time, because he was on a visa for kids to go to school. So he been, we hadn't seen him in, like, six years. So I went to go see him, see what the music they had popping out there, plus... Like everybody who I fuck with as far as African music, I got to see while I was in Nigeria. Because while I was out there, they kind of had like they, they own Coachella while I was in Nigeria. So it was, bro, it was busting, bro. Like shit don't close to like 7, 8 a.m. That's when niggas. That's and it's really because niggas want to go home. Right. If niggas, <laughs> I'm, I'm dead ass serious, G. Nigeria is a, is a country where if it's money to be made, niggas will stay open. You want to keep going? Okay. How much money? How much Naira? Let's do it. Hey, hey that shit sounds keep, the, keep, the, gener- keep the generator going. We finna yeah. keep partying this bitch. Yeah, that's how it is, man. But no, I definitely picked up on the culture heavy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fools too. You fuck with they fools oh, and yeah. all that shit, bro. Everything. So put us on a little Nigerian food. What's Joel up? Jollof rice. Jollof rice. And it's a it's a thing between Ghanaians and Nigerians where they they battle against their Jollof rice, but mm. not. But see, Ghanaians, see, I, well, I came up on Nigerian Joe Love Rice. Right. So I'm going to be biased. Because right. that's what I know at first. Right. And I was like, I fuck with this. Because Ghanaians put onions and stuff in they, in they Joe Love. And, and Nigerians don't really do all that. You got a bay leaf and you got Joe Love. And that's it. So I fuck with the Joe Love. You can get you a whole red snapper, whole, whole fish. You know mm. what I'm saying? Dipped in sauce. One thing about Nigerian, African food in general, it's going to be saucy. You're going to deal with mm. sauce. It's going to be saucy in the bitch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you're going to have to drink all some right. water because you're going to start right. breaking out with all that grease. You know what I'm saying? Plus like a lot of motherfuckers from the different backgrounds, you know, be having saucy shit. Yeah. Like, sauce, bro. You know, my mother-in-law, you know what I'm saying? She Panamanian. You mm. know what I'm saying? So she be hooking shit up. You know Caribbean what I'm to the African. Like that sauce, that stew, mm. that's yeah. pepper, that's pepper stew. soup. They, they got suya. If you in a beef, if you eat beef, suya. Mm-hmm. I don't eat beef anymore, but suya, when I, psh, I fuck some suya up, bro. <laughs> suya. I fuck some suya, suya up. Suya and naja su- rice. Suya is some pieces of, of beef on a on a kebab, right? Mm-hmm. That they, they, they basically, you know, barbecue on the bob. And the suya is the seasoning. It's like spicy, but it's good as fuck. Right. And they, so on the road, so it used to be a spot called, uh, what's the name? The shrine. 
Okay. Right. Mm. The shrine is named after uh, Fela Kuti, which is the biggest African artist, one of the biggest African artists ever to come from Nigeria. Fela Kuti has a shrine, rest in peace, in Nigeria. So they duplicated and made one in Chicago. It used to be, uh, what's that, West Loop? I don't know. It's by Chinatown. I don't even know. It. Mm. Whatever. But it used to be a man come out there on African nights who sells suya out the, uh, suya be wrapped up in newspaper. Mm. Right. So I ain't get it. And then my homies be like, nah, that's how they serve it back at the crib. So when I was actually in Nigeria, seeing Suya being made at 4 in the morning on the side of the road, wrapping that shit up in newspaper, I'm like, I get it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I get it. it now. Yeah. I, ain't, hey, shit yeah. ain't, ain't shit else to wrap this shit up. Ain't shit else to wrap this shit up in. Fuck it, we got newspaper. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, like, seeing, I seen crazy shit in Nigeria. Like, they hustle out there, bro. Like, the hustle yeah. was unmatched. And I see why... Africans come here and get cracking. Cause yeah, like, they get it cracking. You know what I'm saying? And you know they always quit to label a Nigerian or some. You know what I'm saying? A scammer. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Hey, like scamming that. is hard work. Yeah. If you do it right, yeah. Yeah. it's hard work. You know what I'm saying? This a lot of anxiety. Like, it is. But a lot of things. A lot of things. A lot of worried about if this uh-huh. don't go right. If this, I got it's it's, it's a work in the scamming. Yeah, man. But I tell you, it's one you thing. Gotta be patient with scamming. Hush puppy might go down as one of the mm. most notorious scammers mm. ever. Mm. I forgot how many million he scammed. Yeah, I forgot how many yeah. too. Like shit, but he that hit boy, though. He hit though, bro. He did too much, man. He yeah, too flexing much though. He was flexing though, bro. Cause he they saying like he hit that shit for a little minute too. He could have just man. sat on that shit, bro. Boy, motherfucker just want that shit. You gotta <laughs> see, cause, cause you <laughs> got it, bro. You feel me? You want motherfuckers to see you got it? You know what I'm saying? Uh, and like, you keep getting like, oh, is this easy? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna get it. I'm cool. I'm put up, bro. I'm put the fuck up, bro. You know? oh, gee. Ain't everybody but, built like that, man. Yeah, but like I said, man, when it's, it's coming, that shit looking easy. It's just Hell like, yeah. You just gonna keep going. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah man. It's always a way to get money, though, my nigga. Always a way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, you know. Like, you know, like, have you ever ghost written before? Uh, kind of, sort of, yeah. Uh, I kind of want to get back. I kind of want I kind of just want to do that for the rest of my life, to be honest yeah. with you. Like, I, I feel yeah, like get paid for that shit. I Hell like yeah. Stress free. Yeah. And I got a lot of shit that niggas can probably use, mm-hmm. uh, but I have I, I have ghost rings. <laughs> hey, a lot of y'all niggas can use. Hey, hey hell shit. yeah, put nah, a little nah. spin on that shit. Nah, because yeah. for real, because niggas with an audience and a story and shit, they got shit going. I'm like, man, here you can take this, you can have yeah. this, bro. Just give, yeah. me, give me my points, give me a couple points, give me yeah. a couple racks, and we can call it a day, man. I ain't gonna charge you too much on the front end. Mm-hmm. I just I just give give my 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 points. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My credit, motherfucker. Hey, you know, I yeah. wanted to make sure I get into this, you know what I'm saying, before we end on anything, you know what I'm saying? Now, you recently pulled all your music off the DSPs, and uh, yeah. what, what you put them on? IllyMusic.com? Yeah, they just on, on, on Bandhub. On the website. On, 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 you know what I'm saying? What, what made you come to that decision? That interesting, man. I'm glad we, 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 we going out like this, bro, because this is a nice little story. So, one of my favorite artists is uh, Brian Leslie. And Ryan Leslie is an artist who never put his music on streaming. Ryan streaming. Leslie, like, yeah, that Ryan buddy Leslie. was cold. Like. So he's he got blackballed early in the game. So before even streaming hit, he was like, I right, I need to really live out that true true thousand fans thing. You know what I'm saying? Get my true find out who my true thousand. He said, When I have my true thousand fans, like, I can just sell the experiences to them. I got anything. So he'll go and he'd be like, Look, I got this for four hundred dollars. Get VIP at my show. You get a hat, you get a shirt, and you get an autograph CD. You know what I'm saying? And that person might pay for that, and then in two or three months, pay for something else for four hundred dollars. And then, mm-hmm. so you, you know what I'm saying? Just break it down. And and Ryan Leslie is a nigga who graduated Harvard at 17. Mm-hmm. So it's like, all right, I need to listen to this nigga. Yeah, <laughs> the, yeah. the nigga gonna make some sense, bro. And and he's made a successful career out of doing what he do. And he also has this app called Smartphone. Which you have to pay for each month, which I'm I'm going to get end up getting within the next couple of months, where it's like, it's like a cell phone subscription service mm-hmm. where you they give you a number and everything, and it's like, all right, y'all. Also, Mike Jones, shit, y'all right. want to call me here, y'all want to text me here, mm-hmm. but when you texting a motherfucker, they're putting in their information, like, all right, this is my email, put save my email, save my number, and this is my occupation. So now. Smart what what smartphone does is like, it's like a I, networking program. It's like all right, these are all my doctors. These is all my mm-hmm. people who work in this field. It's all my people who work in this. Right. Field. So I know exactly who I, who to reach out to. Right. When I'm selling some shit. 
So that's that's the the app he came up with, which also he was an early influence on Nipsey and why Nipsey started selling his CD for a hundred dollars mm. because he came up under Ryan Leslie. Mm-hmm. So recently I seen an interview with China Mac. Mm-hmm. China Mac, I can't remember the rapper who was on his live, but he from Sacramento, street rapper from Sacramento. Who Mozzie? Nah, it's not Mozzie. It's another guy. Mm. So. So him and China Mac on fake on Instagram live talking to each other. China Mac was like, "Yeah, bro, I'm really fuck all this rap shit. I don't want to do this shit no more. Da 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 this and that. I took my all my music off streaming, blah blah blah." And bro was like, "Hey, did a smart job taking all your music off streaming, but don't stop, like nigga." China Mac, he was like, "You got a whole continent. You fucking tripping, bro. Like, you need to market more to them instead of mm-hmm. us. Like, you yeah, the only yeah. nigga." In America, really doing it, that's Chinese, and you have an entire population like behind Hell you. Hell yeah. So right. you need to switch some shit up. But he was like, nah, you did a good job taking your shit out streaming. And he was like, man, why you say that? He was like, bro, I ain't never put my shit on streaming. He was like, you ain't never. He was like, nigga, you buying it directly from me. He was like, fuck mm-hmm. streaming. And I was just like, I, right. I was just watching Ryan Leslie a week before. Right. And I already know his philosophy. So now that I'm seeing this, I'm like, all right, bro. I'm looking at my tune core and my distro kid, <laughs> 1099, how much money I done made out streaming. I'm like, hell no. Nah. Hey, take all this shit down. I, fin- I tell Kyrie, everybody, I'm like, I'm finna take all my shit down. They're like, you for real? I'm like, yeah, I'm taking all my shit down. In two days, I made more <laughs> money than I did streaming for the entire year. Two? So I'm mm-hmm. like, I ain't doing this shit no more, man. And bef- before we go from it, like me and Real, we got a project. Me, me and Trey and Real about to put out. Okay. Like, all right, we we already negotiated the percentages already. So before the shit come out, like, because I already told them, like, we finna keep doing this. We not putting shit on streaming. We just finna right. sell straight directly to folks. Sure. They want to buy the shit. So, like, you go to my website, my projects is like $30 a pop because you're paying for the project and all the videos. Mm-hmm. So I'm sending you... Sh- Zip file. You zip file. Get everything. And, and you can take it and just drop it in your iTunes and it's going to load up the same fucking weight as if... It was on streaming service anyway. Mm-hmm. And you don't got to pay nine ninety nine a month just to keep it on your damn phone. Mm-hmm. And you can drop it in Spotify. You can drop it in anything you want to. Plus, I'm giving you music videos. So I'm giving you content too. So I'm like, all right, cool. I'm about to start taking this Ryan Leslie approach and really just hammering this shit out. Because at the end of the day, like, I forgot who was talking about this. But, like, you get on these playlists on these streaming services, this shit cool. But it's like, niggas don't got to be fans of you. They can just like a song or just like this that I just listened to this playlist and you just right. happen to be on it. Right. Like you can get, make a lot of money off this one song, but after that, then what the fuck else? Right. Like I'm trying to cultivate a whole audience of people that mm-hmm. fuck with me for me mm-hmm. so I can go and I can sell you anything I really want to. Right. So when I have anything, I, I got a thousand true fans and I'm selling you $10 every other week. You buying a I single for nine ninety nine. And I own the shit, yeah. I, and I'm not signing nobody. I'm not managed by nobody, so nobody. Got, and I own, I have all the masters to my shit, so it's like it's just kind of a no brainer. Then I found out about licensing out my music through sites like Pond Five, and I can't forgot the other site where you could just upload your catalog and have motherfuckers just go in and be like, oh, I want to use this for a Target playlist, mm. or I want to use this for a Walmart playlist, or a Fairly Twenty One playlist, and your shit can be accumulating money like that. So it's like that shit, the licensing. Other than a light, other than oh, I do have my music on a streaming platform. It's called Audius, but okay. it, but Audius. It, Audius operates on the blockchain, so it's a crypt. You get crypto. Audius has their own crypto mm. for streaming, so you get paid. I think Audius Coin is like forty cent USD, and you get paid a certain amount of dollar a uh, cent for streams. Mm. So you're getting paid more off the streams now. So like I was telling people, like you go to the site, you want to stream the music. Because before you purchase the music, you might want to preview it. If, mm-hmm. and, 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 and the thing is there for you to preview the music, but it's through audience. So if anything, <laughs> I'm still making more money than I was streaming yeah, yeah. from you going on this blo- on the blockchain. And I feel like that's also the next wave of uh, music is the NFTs and cryptocurrency and, and the music operating on the blockchain. So I'm kind of trying to just, not kind of trying to, I'm putting myself ahead of the curve before everybody gets to that space. Because mm. the NFT shit, everybody is really starting to get on. I was just on. trying to ask you about that. The NFTs, NFTs, everybody's starting to hop on top of that. And I've been on it, but I never put one together to put out. But I'm like, all right, cool. Now niggas is on it. 
It's becoming popular. But tell niggas what NFTs is who may not know yeah. what an NFT is. So an NFT is a non-fungible token. So a fungible token is like Bitcoin, mm -hmm. which each coin has the same value. A non-fungible token might be like, I right, them MX, only three of them came, 300 of them came mm -hmm. out. So a nigga can sell a pair for 1200 and then a nigga can sell a pair for 800 mm -hmm. It all depends on the market. You know what I'm saying? So non-fungible tokens is just digital assets. So motherfucker just having something digitally that can accrue value or decrease in value. Right. So like a nigga destroyed a real Banksy art piece just for the digital Banksy art piece to live and to gain more value. So what 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 Cass is doing now is putting together like one off art pieces, but digital art pieces with like a one minute cool kids just did an NFT mm. where they did some of Black Mags. Right. And yeah. it's a it's a moving picture. I know what the you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that might sell for like seven thousand hey. dollars. You know what I'm saying? And, and at that point you as an artist, as a a music are you like, nigga, what? Yeah. Three three L A U. I want to say his name. He's a house DJ. I want to say he's a house DJ. Don't quote me on that, but look him up. He had a whole pack, different pack. He had eleven different NFTs, and I think like one of the highest ones was like you get to do a track with me and this, that, and the other. He made eleven million dollars in a weekend. Damn. Eleven million. Damn. Bro, we doing the wrong shit up in this podcast. We, you know what I'm saying? Maybe turntable something. Nah, but but like all this shit gonna start operating on the on the blockchain, bro. And it's it's figuring out like, all right, this cryptocurrency, this shit ain't going nowhere. So I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna have an end. And once I started looking up shit on like connecting the music with the blockchain, I found NFTs, and this was like four months ago. And I was like, what the fuck is an NFT? So I'm like, all right, I got into the NFT. And then I'm just starting to see, like, all right, how do I tokenize my Instagram? Or how do I tokenize everything that I'm doing? Even YouTube. All my shit finna get snatched off YouTube. It's called it's a site called D2, Decentralized YouTube, basically, where you're getting money. The same type of shit the audience is. You're getting paid more for your content. Mm -hmm. The thing with DTube is you got to have the currency to put your shit up there. You to post your shit, you know what I'm saying? Now, what's the difference between DTube and Patreon? It's just that crypto, it's on the blockchain. Okay. That's the, that's the right, only difference. You. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Patreon don't operate on the blockchain. Right. DTube does. That's the that's the only difference. But Patreon is a good space too to get your get 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 this money for your shit because YouTube ain't gonna give you the money like Patreon will give you or DTube is gonna give you. So I was just in a space of like, how do I tokenize everything I do? Mm -hmm. And then you guys see. They started to tokenize tweets. Mm -hmm. Soldier Boy sold his first tweet as an NFT. Jack sold his, who's a creator of Twitter, so he started. He was like, "All right, this is the first, you first first tweet that you can tokenize. How much?" And it's a bid. And niggas, I don't know how much niggas pay for that shit, but like, it's shit like that mm -hmm. that niggas is paying for. And I'm like, I got into a space like, "All right, what do motherfuckers do with this?" And then I come across an art exhibit. Right. <laughs> With a whole bunch of NFTs. And it's all a whole bunch of LED TVs with a whole bunch of NFT artwork, movable artwork is just going on around. And the nigga, the three LAU guy, he like, yeah, you know, my two flat screens back here. Sometimes I just throw my NFTs up here. It's artwork. It's just digital artwork, right. bro. Uh, and like that shit kind of crazy because like that kind of makes sense because like I feel like the world is in the transitional period. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I don't you know, it's been transitioning, but I don't know what it's gonna lead up to. And then it's you got things like books and you know, magazines. Like I then feel like those things are really gonna be extinct because mm -hmm. like ain't too many yeah. motherfuckers. Shit, up like books. what's that? Mm -hmm. I am legend. Mm -hmm. Is that was that one with Denzel? No, no I am legend. That's Will Smith. What's the one with Denzel with the Bible? Like, oh, uh, book. Book, of Eli. book of Eli. Book of Eli. Yeah. Like, shit, nigga, books? They like, it's got a nigga book? My favorite shit, books was illegal out there. Some yeah. shit wanted. You know what I'm saying? Like, that gee, book, like, that shit crazy. No, nah, it was something but, in that book, though. Yeah. Some, some shit about that shit. Nah, I definitely was. Yeah. But it's, it's definitely going towards that. And before, I want to leave off with this. Like, it's a it's a, a joint called uh, Decentraland. So, mm -hmm. well, people, why people fuck with Bitcoin? Well, Bitcoin is really not decentralized. Bitcoin is still centralized. Ethereum 
and all the altcoins, most of the altcoins are decentralized, which is there's no centralized location that deems like, all right, this is what this is worth. Like the central bank, which gets to deem like the, the currency and shit like that, right? So it's a place called Decentraland. Mm -hmm. This place is like the Sims on the blockchain, right? So mm -hmm. people create avatars. They buy NFTs for these homes that they build. It's it's a mix of uh what's the game to play the kids play? Minecraft. It's like Minecraft Roblox Minecraft, Roblox, and Sims mixed mm -hmm. together is Decentraland. And you can buy So say for instance, I I, I got I build a, a avatar, right? On Decentraland. I'm buying an avatar. I, I really can use crypto to buy shoes, to buy clothes, but I'm using real money. Like how kids use real money to buy shit on Fortnite. Right. I'm doing the same shit, but it's on the blockchain and using crypto. Also, what motherfuckers do is like, all right, it's a big land. I'm a car. I want to buy. I want to purchase this block of land. Right. I'm gonna call this. I'm gonna buy. The name of this land is called Roseland, right? I bought it for a hundred dollars. Next week, it might be twelve hundred dollars. Just the name of the of the land I bought. Because a motherfucker then hopped on the blockchain and was like, alright, I mean, on, on the central land, I, I need this name. And now you own that name on the blockchain. You own it. So, niggas has been making, buying fair, fair play. LL Cool J. Because eventually, motherfuckers is want to come back onto this virtual world, this digital world, and be like, I need my namesake. What? Alright, you gotta pay for it. Because somebody already got it. Damn, bro. You know what I'm saying? And it's getting to a point where you can really just live. It's like on some spiritual shit. If you on some super duper spiritual shit, then you like, all right, we're avatars right now. We're spirit. We're in this avatar body mm -hmm. in this world doing this. What niggas doing now is making a whole nother avatar within Decentraland and living in that space mm -hmm. permanently. Like, you know, motherfuckers that play games and mm -hmm. don't never leave their house. Yeah. They're living in this space mm -hmm. to the point where they're having music festivals. Where DJs is broadcasting on Zoom and like uh, you can you know, see they got all the virtual reality bro, shit. Bro, that, like uh, yeah. it's dead ass niggas with their avatars is walking around a festival and it's a real DJ from Zoom DJing this festival. Yeah. And I'm like, I made a comment that's like, damn, I love shit. to perform yeah. and shit like this. Yeah, nigga. And niggas is getting paid to do yeah. that's the that's that's what that's that's where we going. Mm -hmm. Motherfuckers is like. I, I, I'm so all the virus over. I'm still scared, so I'm gonna stay in the house. Yeah. So what can I do from the crib? Concert, yeah. And they setting everything up like that. You ain't gotta leave the crib for shit. No, nah, 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 you know we what? You we gonna give you money to just stay at home, bro. We gonna give you some money. Stay at home. Don't mm -hmm. go nowhere. Work from home, bro. Work from home. Stay at home. E learning. Yeah. Get everything delivered to you. Gain as much weight as you want. Don't think about shit. Watch everything we give you. Cool. We got your ass. And that's where it's going. It's like I don't. You can not like where it's going and just be like, fuck it. I have to change with the times. You going to profit of it or you going to be a victim. And that's really at the Hey, you know what, though, bro? We've been interviewed for like like about an hour or so, G. Yeah. And what I get from you, you a crafty-ass nigga, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's the word that I get to describe, bro. It's like no, you, that's you take what's given, bro, and you switch it to the... She, make listen, it this, 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 always been this, like that. No, yeah. but... And this is my queen. So she lived with me day in, day out for the past five years. So she would tell you, like... It'd be times when she like, this shit's not gonna work, and I'd be like, I'm gonna figure out how this shit's gonna Crafty work. Crafty ass, nigga, it's, man. It's, <laughs> it's gonna fucking work. Yeah. We got it's a quick story, man. We was getting we we was staying. She was pregnant at the time. We was in our apartment past the time we were supposed to be in there. I knew we was about to get kicked the fuck out. Mm -hmm. I'm going and searching for hope for for other places at the same time. We signed a lease to the place we stay at now. We signed a lease the day that we got kicked out. We moved all the shit out, right? We moved all the shit out. We moved it into the new, but she haven't even seen the apartment. You know I'm on some, you know I'm on some like, yeah. God, come on with me. Yeah. Come on with me, universe. Work with me because she's pregnant. Ain't seen the, the next apartment we finna move into <laughs> that she just signed a lease for. So I'm like. This shit gonna, this shit gonna right. That nigga said the universe. Bro, I'm like, like, everybody I'm like, like no, listen, everybody roll with me on this one. She gets to the crib, she like, I like this. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> you did a good job. I'm like, all right, cool. Step one. Step two. Let's get all the rest of this shit over here. The last bit of shit that we move over here, and it was me, my mans, D-Dot, and my little cousin, Kenneth. 
We move everything. Bro, I get a call. 20 minutes of me moving into the new crib. My neighbor from the old crib like, you ain't at home, bitch. You? I'm like, nah. She like, sheriff is banging on your door. I'm like, we just left. <laughs> 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 That's love, boy. We just left. Just love. That's that universe you call I'm up. like, man, oh, oh, man. shit. Hey, so it, bro. I got two more questions. You yep. got to say before we get out of here. D gangs. That's my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's uh, tell down. me about D Gaines. D Gaines, you know D Gaines is the godfather of everything that's going on now. He don't get credit for, and that's how kind of me and him connected. Cause like we felt out it, we felt like outsiders, and we felt like, especially me, I'm gonna keep it G. I feel like a lot of niggas took a lot of shit from me, mm-hmm. and I started doing a lot of shit before motherfuckers. I never got the recognition for it. I do feel a certain type of way about it, but it is, it's neither here or there. Right. But I'm gonna always say like, nah, I did this shit before a lot of niggas. Oh, that nigga sound like, niggas was like, niggas from Chance crew camp was telling me like, oh, you sound like Chance. And I'm like, damn, that's interesting because I'm older than him and I've been out longer than him. So if anybody sound like anybody, nigga, you sound like me. Right. Gee. So shit like that, it be happening to me and I'll be like, gee, but because I don't got a big ass name, motherfuckers will let that shit fly to the wayside. And mm-hmm. I'm like, damn, that shit. Right. So it is what it is, man. So. Yeah. I forgot the fucking No, nah, D Gangs. D Gangs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I replay your shit like this. I think it's all like Chance. <laughs> nah, nah, but like, you know what I'm saying? That's what I was telling bro earlier. It's just like he always had a different sound because, like I said, Inhale 2 came out 2012. You know what I'm saying? That's when yeah, right. Chief Keith and everybody else, all I'm that trail shit going on. Like, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody in the city had that sound. Nobody, like, nobody, not a soul. Had, you know what I'm saying? Like, not he always soul, been harmonizing. Bro. He always had the subject matter. He was always a different dress type of nigga. You always, know what I'm bro. Clean cut type mm-hmm. of dude. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, like it is what it is. But, like, we talk about D Gaines right Gaines, now. Gaines is that dude, bro. Like, I seen him. I seen him. In- I seen him edit a video in like 30 minutes. As a matter of fact, for those who don't know who D Gaines is, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's the the guy who was behind most of the videos the that came concepts, out in yeah. them 2012 yeah, era. You don't, you know you don't like Bang. Yeah, all that mm. drill all shit. That, all, that, yeah, all, all, all the drill shit that came out during that year, D Gaines. That, that's the reason why we saw Bobby Schmurd and them shoot a video like that. That's right. the reason why niggas in UK shoot videos like that because of D Gaines, man. Like, mm. that nigga ushered in a whole new style to every, like, that shit wasn't ex- acceptable at the time. Mm. Like, all right, we just finna have a whole bunch of niggas in the house rap. With guns. That shit wasn't acceptable. Hell no, boy. That shit wasn't us right then. That'd be like, this bo- video is boring. Like, the, the energy and the way he put the shit together made the shit like, like, man, intriguing. Like, man, what yeah. the fuck is going on? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, like, that's exactly what you get, though. It's like, it's more than niggas that's in the house with their guns, though. It's like, what the fuck is going on? You want to yeah. know, you want to know nigga's story. That's why niggas, mm-hmm. I had a little, dolly little homie, little mm-hmm. cousin came from the UK. Told us more shit about our gangs than we knew. We like, how the hell you know all this, mm-hmm. man? You too. You know? too, bro. Everybody be yeah. talking. Chicago street lads. Man, I'm say. like, oh, yo, this shit, shit. wow, bro. I listen to this. Like like academics dude. making videos and shit yep. like that. You know what I'm saying? So, so, so if y'all niggas don't know that so Chicago street lads to tell you whoever, bro. Who got them, shot? Yeah. Who's with? Everything, who everything, bro. Like, who they was in? Who they used to be affiliated with? Who probably killed somebody? Everything. Like, yeah. I can't I'm get sucked sure into this, bro. Know that, bro. I found myself getting drowned in that shit one night. I'm like, let me get out of this negativity. Yeah, God damn. Right. But that shit made you go to the no, next one. No, it like, do, because you be like, intrigued. Yeah. Like, the murder. <laughs> this nigga that's just like him. Because it's like, <laughs> it's like, damn, I live amongst these niggas. Yo, let, me, let me go see. Hey. But no, nah, but DK. She was like, I ain't hear about none of this shit that was going on. Gaines right. is the godfather, bro. And that's always going to be my nigga forever, bro. Like, yeah. he looked out a lot. Yeah, and he do he good at what he do, and he makes some decent music oh, too. He does, you know mm. and I was around the way. And niggas, niggas never took his music seriously because, like, oh, you the video guy. You know, right. but his music is hey, that's decent. That's how motherfuckers always do. Yeah. Always, like, if you are, if you're a rapper and you try to play ball, oh, nigga, you stick to rap. You yeah. know what I'm saying? If you're a comedian, yeah. you want to sing, nigga, stick to sing. It's stick to it's, comedian. It's yeah. just now starting you know to get saying? to where a nigga be like, oh, you can do anything. Yeah. Within the past two, three years, like, oh yeah, whatever he do that, yeah, he do everything. But Before some of you niggas just need to, you know, find something else to do. It ain't for everybody. Nah, nah, for real. For yeah. real. You know hey, nah. crazy shit. You was talking about a comedian that's a singer. I was just watching Raw before I came in. <laughs> uh, Murphy, man. Uh, hey, nigga, I don't care what motherfuckers man. say. That party all the time. Like, that's a classic. Uh, no, yeah. it is. <laughs> man, <laughs> that nigga, bro. 
Yeah, but like shit, Jamie Foxx, like shit. Yeah, that nigga Fox, was trying my nigga. Years, Fox, my nigga. Thing, you know Renaissance man. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Yeah, but like shit, yo. So shout out D Gangs, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you watch it, bro, man, shit. You know, because that's your story to tell, but if you watch it, nah, bro. He got a crazy right. story, bro. Like, nah, like shit I done heard that nah, I just rather him tell. Right. Crazy shit, bro. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, uh, my next question, you know what I'm saying? It's probably my last question, you know what I'm saying? Success. You know what I'm saying? What is the definition of success to the boy Illinois? And, you know what I'm saying, do you feel like you are successful? Uh, to, I mean, at this point, to a certain extent, like, it's it's, it's a never-ending story. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? When I feel like I'm ultimately successful is when I'm at peace. And I, I had a talk with my pops, and he like, man, like, what are you trying to get out of all this? I'm like, man, peace. Right. At the end of the day, I just need peace. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's so crazy, like... Working so hard to attain money just to buy peace. Yep. And, and that's really what I'm doing. Like, mm-hmm. at the end of the day, at the end of the day, like, I was talking to my girl the other day, and I, and I was telling her, like, since the introduction of social media, I've always had to sell myself as an right. artist. Like, I don't know what it's like to just not have nothing to market, not have nothing to be like, nigga, go buy this, not have, you know what I'm saying? Like, I really hate social media. I, I don't hate it. I dislike it to a certain extent because of everything that can be amplified on it. You know right. what I'm saying? And it, just a lot of foolishness. Peace and my success, success is peace. And peace to me is living off the grid, no cell phone, no computer. It's a Brazzers, I think. They did a, a tour of uh, Maxwell's crib. Mm hmm. And he, no internet service, no phone service, everything. He got a farm, that's cultivate off the land. Mm. He got, you know what I'm saying? It's just, that's my piece, bro. Like, yeah, yeah. that's that's why I want to be in five years, like, removed from all this shit. Open space, man. To the point where yeah. I'm just like, you want to come holler at me, you got to come actually mm. pull up. You going to move out to Wyoming? Oh, <laughs> hey, bro, shit. But that is just like, man, you just, shit, stop being consumed with the negativity and yeah. shit and everything that come with the world, yeah, bro. Like low, the energy and frequencies it's, it's that attach to you, my nigga. There's a lot of low huh? frequency shit going yeah. on. There. A lot, you know, and yeah. just being able to disconnect. And that's what I enjoyed when, yeah. I, when I was in Cuba, right? When we was in Cuba, the thing about it is like, you have to buy internet access and it's mm. only a certain parts and you gotta pay like $10, $20 for an hour and that's mm. it. That's all you're getting. You know what I'm saying? You got to go back buy another car. Go back buy. So we was disconnected from the world for majority, for two. Like, we would be disconnected one day. And then the next day, we'll buy an internet car in the morning or in the evening, upload our shit and be back disconnected again. Yeah, I mean, for kids, I mean, that's the only thing I'd be worried about if I got a daughter, do- you know, my daughter. Yeah. Other than that, I love that shit, bro. Nah, yeah, yeah. I love that, man. Me and my lady, boy. For the turn up, boy, you're drunk and nasty. <laughs> ain't, no, ain't no interruptions, boy. Yeah. Ain't it's no picking up that phone, boy. It's Mr. Nasty time. It's nasty time, <laughs> boy. Nah, man, so, yeah, man. That's peace, man. Success. I'm, 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 I'm getting there. Show, bro. All right. Shit, you got any more questions for this brother? No, nah, bro. No, nah, no. Nah, that's it. Hey, we were talking about some spiritual shit. What's your sign, my nigga? Capricorn. Capricorn. Yeah, goat. Right. Goat. Goat. You know what I'm saying? The goat. Yeah, yeah. That, 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 that speaks to the... the Determined factor, you know what I'm saying? I yep. want to get shit done. Oh, yeah, and I'm yeah. always and then, yeah. So, I'm gonna leave y'all with this the goat, right? The goat, the goat, the greatest of all time, man. It's Capricorn, also, uh, Baphomet is a goat, right? Right, so it, it's a whole nother thing I can go into about Baphomet, but also, children, the, the little, little goats are called kids, right. So we got we got more of a connection to the goat than we actually think we do. Mm. So let's put that out there. All right, and with that being said, we finna roll into this bitch ass nigga of the week. <laughs> that, that, that shit go deep, bro. That's another time that that goat shit. That go different ways, man. Yeah. 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 For sure. Yeah, this go to that bitch ass nigga, you know what I'm saying? And this week, bitch ass nigga, the week go to Nathaniel Jose Perez, you know what I'm saying? And he's a 19 year old, you know, uh, man, you know, this dumb ass nigga, he decides that he wants to break into jail, you know what I'm saying? Most <laughs> motherfuckers be trying to, 
Yeah, oh, man. That jam, you know what I'm saying? But he decided he wanted to load his backpack up with tobacco, you know what I'm saying? Some weed, alcohol, cell phones, and other items. He trying to come up in jail, bro, for no reason. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, you know, he later confessed, you know, once he got caught, because I think he got caught in between the gates and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, the in and out of gate. I heard that shit. You know what I'm saying? So Perez, he later confessed to sneaking in, you know, drugs for payment from the inmates. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, he also suffered injuries from that. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is a dumb motherfucker, man. What was his name? He got about three, four names. What's his name? Uh, Nathaniel Jose Perez. Nathaniel you know Jose I'm Perez. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, as a result of that, he got charged with possession, you know what I'm saying, with intent to distribute and attempting to furnish prisoners with contraband. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, this, hey, you the bitch ass nigga for the week, you know what I'm saying? Man, that just shit just, you a bitch ass nigga, like we say, sometimes, bro, you just lose common sense. You end up on the bitch ass nigga of the week. But where he thought he was finna go? I don't like, know what the he fuck was finna get that bitch to come up. He, he, he was prepared. He had but two no, he, well, he got stuck in between. Like, you don't think that's gonna check your backpack, my nigga? <laughs> How the fuck you gonna break into jail, bro? Like, yeah, you're not looping. Do you do think that you got a bed waiting for you in jail, bro? <laughs> like, I, I just don't wanna know, like, he, like, what was his plan to get this shit? Past security, uh, uh, like there's, there's so many questions we got with this shit. Like, hey, do you think so, they hey, just? It's like it's a shelter, slow. bro. Like that you just walk in slow. this bitch. Somebody sent this goofy ass off, man. Listen, 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 listen. This not finna sound popular, bro. But I'm finna say some shit. <laughs> Go ahead. Some niggas should be castrated. I, I once agree. they once they get arrested for stupid shit like that, you I shouldn't agree. you shouldn't reproduce. You shouldn't be able to reproduce. I fucking agree. Because you're going to create more stupid motherfuckers, and then we're going to have to deal with them stupid motherfuckers, too. Mm -hmm. hey. It's like, God damn it. Stop reproducing stupid motherfuckers. Hey, but you know, Will should be castrated. Rage prison and shit like that. Yeah. That's what oh, I yeah. thought. That shit. Oh, they, they should, nah, that shit, yeah, they that just, shit is out. Nah, they should they should be castrated. They should just die. Yeah. Just yeah. kill them niggas. Yeah. They yeah. useless. Fact, did yeah. you hear about that guy in Florida? Like, shit, I ain't even got the shit down no way with the guy in Florida who... uh kidnapped a 12 year old boy I guess the boy decided he wanted to sneak up out the crib and he was on his way back to the crib at 3 in the morning nigga pulled up on him snatched him up you know what I'm saying sexually assaulted him you know what I'm saying I think he shot him you know what I'm saying Damn. And uh, they ended up catching with, with Buddy. You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas like that need to be under the jail. Listen, man, yeah. I, 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 I fuck with the death penalty. Yeah, me under, too. Under certain circumstances, nigga, X that nigga out. Yeah. Well, motherfucker, that was a no purpose. Yeah, man. Yeah. You don't serve no purpose living. Yeah. Peace out, bro. Put that ass front of the fire squad, man. Yeah, yeah. Bro. So, so, yeah, man. that's the I... bitch ass nigga of the week. You yeah, know what man. Saying? And, uh, you know, Illy. Like, you know what I'm saying? I definitely appreciate you coming. For hey, sure. Man, I appreciate y'all looking for sure. the conversation, man. So, yeah. I appreciate y'all. Yeah, yeah, for well, sure. For sure, you know bro. What I'm saying? Like, please don't let this be your last time uh, coming. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Yeah. I'll, be, I'll be back, man. I got more shit to drop. Like, I just fell back in love with, with music. Probably like two weeks ago. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I'm just once because that's that triggered remove my music off off the DSPs mm -hmm. too. I was just like, all right, this is my, I'm really taking control of my shit. This is my shit. Come mm -hmm. back, come back to daddy. You know, so my shit just sitting on the computer. I just had one of my homies like, hey, bro, how much for the whole collection? <laughs> I say, I say, damn. I ain't thought about it. Yeah. I come back with a number. So, yeah, so, yeah, man. So, that's to snatch all them motherfuckers up. So that's 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 all I'm looking for is niggas that's like niggas that super fuck with me gonna gonna, gonna grab the shit. And they yeah. show like eventually they gonna grab the shit. Or, like you know what I'm saying. I know they eventually they gonna grab the shit. So like yeah. when once a nigga be like, hey bro, what happened to this song? Oh, go to my website and go buy it. Yeah. All right, cool. That shit sound like that shit is like. Selling CDs out the trunk, bro. Nah, it is. Right, it's, 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 it's crazy. It's, it's all digital. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. A, a nigga hit me like, yo, is it going to be physicals? Hell no, nah, I ain't going to be physical, bro. We <laughs> in 2021. You yeah, got a CD bro. player? And like, I still got a couple of them physicals, too. No, I know, I know niggas still got physicals. Yeah. We used to slang them bitches after the, the shows. Be, yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah, but, dog. All right, once again, bro, I appreciate, appreciate y'all, yeah, my bro. nigga. Please don't let this be your last never, time. Never, Slide never. Any Appreciate y'all, yeah. bro. Good meeting you, my nigga. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you know, once again, this is an opinion-headed podcast. Oh, Don't fast show, bro. Get up out of here and tell everybody where they can find you. Yeah. Bro. At Illy D. Williams. I-L-L-I D. Williams. Man, go go holler at a player. You know yeah, man. Tell them where the music at one more time. Illymusic.com. I-L-L-I. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? And once again, opinion-headed. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Episode 31, man. Woo! Oh, yeah, it's that Keep Rich going, Miller man. Episode. You ain't missed a date, boy. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's that Reggie Miller in New York tonight, bro. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you feel me? Podcast. Follow that shit on everything. We gone. We out of here.